Merry Christmas, people. All right, let's get into it, man. This is my joint. Call my bluff. Um, let's talk top songs, you know what I mean? This has been a weak-ass year. The worst year in hip-hop history, in my honest opinion. But as I've said, it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Until people actually decide, you know what? I'm going to step my fucking game up and deliver something that isn't sleepy. Uh, and actually take some effort it's just gonna get worse um i have to say that in this year um there's only like two songs i like really which is wild so you're gonna see something different for the first time i'm gonna include uh old songs in my top five <laughs> it's that bad man it's that bad you know, when I see these lists, it's funny. I see these lists of albums and they rank them uh, as though, like, you know, there was good stuff this year. There really wasn't, man. It's all super weak. So, honorable mention, Pusha T, Call My Bluff. Um, I really like this beat. I thought it's it's good. It's not amazing. This is kind of like, you know, this would be an album cut on Hell Hath No Fury type of thing you know it's not like a single standout type of record but it's just a cool song it's good um so this would be my honorable mention aka sixth place okay number five what it do man <laughs> um yeah this is probably the best hip-hop record overall that got made this year and you know it you know how you know it's the best record well it launched glorilla who is single-handedly, I would say, the biggest new rap act on the scene of this year. Um, I think the beat is hot, obviously. Big Glow comes through with a lot of personality, some funny bars. And this is a song that just went viral, I think, pretty much on its own terms, you know? No cosigns, none of that bullshit. Just a song that was hot, and people fucked with it. A, a lot, actually. In fact... It's such a good song in terms of what Glorilla is trying to do that um, it's still kind of giving her some momentum, even though I do think that if Glorilla does not come out with something new um, by 2023, I think she's kind of going to be done out here. But you know what I think is interesting about FNF? FNF is a song that Megan Thee Stallion has been trying to make her entire career. <laughs> Glorilla did that shit in one song. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I mean when I say that, like, it doesn't matter how many songs you release, right? How The question is, how many dope songs do you have? Because Glorilla has one dope song. She's already a better rapper and has dropped better music and a better catalog than Megan Thee Stallion. Because Megan Thee Stallion obviously has tons of songs. None of them hit. <laughs> None of them hit. They're all trash. <laughs> Respectfully, okay? On that note, by the way, I had asked people if they were checking out the Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez um, debacle. All I'll say about that shit is that, A, they both some fucking clowns. Um, when the sort of story came out initially, it sounded like clown shit to me in the grand scheme of things. So I'm not surprised that it went down that way, honestly. Tory Lanez comes across as a complete lame. Um, you know what I'll even say? Shout out to my man Eric Flowchild. Um, so when Tory Lanez, because, you know, he's from Canada or whatever, I've never met Tory Lanez, I don't know him, but, um, I do know that the whole Chicks Tape series that, uh, Tory Lanez came out with, um, so, now, I know Eric Flowchild, uh, I actually went to school with Eric Flowchild, he's a rapper from Toronto, um, and from what I understand, he came out with the idea of Chicks Tapes and Tory Lanez took that shit, <laughs> Oh, man, I would love to know what Eric thinks about that shit. Eric, if you ever see this, holla at me. <laughs> um, because I think they know each other. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Tory Lane's been out here doing some, you know, scummy shit, possibly. Again, I don't know what the truth is, between, you know, in the whole shit. But I'm not surprised to a certain degree. You know, you some of these guys, and they're always the wackest rappers. Again, this is something that people have figured out overall. The really talented people in entertainment, in general, tend to move pretty smart. They tend to be the nicest people. They're humble. They don't just get into fights. They don't do stupid shit. It's always the sort of marginally talented or the completely untalented 
they've managed to get a little bit of a break. They're in it for the ego. They're so ego driven. They're the ones that tend to be the fucking worst. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing dumb shit, you know, putting people's lives in danger. So again, it doesn't surprise me that someone with Tory Lanez, who honestly has always made mediocre shit. I've never heard anything from Tory Lanez that makes me go, yo, this guy's talented. I see why he's making music. He's just, he's a, you know, he caught a break, you know. And again, like with Megan Thee Stallion, what I think is hilarious, and this is why I don't, you know, I've always said, don't look too deep into these rappers and what they're selling. If you like the music, you like the music, that's cool. But to actually stand them as people is where it gets really fucking iffy, right? Tori, you know, sorry, Megan Thee Stallion's whole thing about her being a hot girl, I think it's hilarious in hindsight because it's looking like, you know, a lot of the stuff that she's been doing when it comes to, you know, whether it be sleeping around Tori and the baby and stuff like that, like, you a hot girl and you're getting involved with short delusional niggas <laughs> who are, you know, questionably attractive, you know what I mean? Like, I can't buy this shit, man. I can't. It's just too stupid. Anyway, so moving on. Third place. This is my third place record. I'd say that this is the best song overall that I think I heard this year. It's not really a hip-hop record, it's an I'm a Piano song called uh, ABO Mello or something like that. This shit is some next level shit, okay? I'm a Piano is, re is really interesting to me because I think that they've come out with a new sound of that log drum, I think is what they call it. But um, if you have not heard the song, you gotta stop sleeping because this is arguably the best I'm a Piano song I've ever heard. It goes dumb hard, it's like, anyway. Starts out kind of, you know, peaceful, you know, vibey, but then it gets into some other shit. And like I said, I like that they're doing their own thing in South Africa. It has some slight hip hop elements, you know, some of the dressing, the bucket hat, the look. So there's a hip hop swagger to a certain extent in there, um, but obviously they're doing their own thing, their own sound. Um, so yeah, even actually, what I think is really fascinating is there's like a female vocal that they've kind of used in some of these I'm a Piano songs that I've heard in the, in the Rick Ross and Diddy Freestyle. So, I mean, people know. People are starting to kind of catch on to this I'm a Piano shit. So this is my favorite song. Yeah, this is not the real instrumental, but you should listen to the actual song. But the beat is dumb. So that's my... Uh, Fourth place, right? Oh, my bad. That's my fourth place record. So, sixth place is Pusha T. Fifth place is FNF. This is in my fourth place. Um, Dali Wonga, Abby O'Mello, right? Now, third place. My shit. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. I've been listening to this crazy this year, man. Um, yeah. This is like, every time I'm driving, I'm just hanging out, like, I love this fucking record, you know? Again, you can't just always listen to new music, you gotta go back, this is a great shit of, of the past. And, unfortunately, because this year has been so trash, I can't even think of another song I put in this list, so I'm going back to the songs that I absolutely loved and played a ton out of. Um, and this is one of them, absolutely. Flame on. <laughs> I'm shocked and like live wires. You haven't been warned. The yeah, Method Man murders this. Murders this. If you want to hear what actual lyricism sounds like and doing it properly, not just like Fugazi, Chris Hilda shit, not this fake shit, but actual rap, listen to this record. All right? Now, second place. You should already know. <laughs> Trap House Mob. <laughs> I think I played this a lot. You guys who followed me in this year and my videos, you know I've been playing this, you know? Mm. Yo, let's get sturdy right now, man. <laughs> oh my God, I miss this dude, man. I miss this whole shit. This was, you know, like I said, classic. You know you know a classic when you hear it, honestly. Um, Big 38 Go Hogan. Amazing beat. Um, obviously, my favorite part is when they add the piano. So I think that's like it just takes to another level, right? You know, you see what I mean. That's beautiful, man. And you're like, you just feel this nigga, like what he's saying, everything. Anyway, 
So that's my second. And my first place record, I don't know if y'all can guess, I'm not rocking it, but the whole reason why I started rocking this bucket hats, of course, the classic. Ah, it's brave, huh? Anyway, you know this record. <laughs> Yo. So, I've been listening to this, like, this is probably my favorite song of the year. Um, really kind of inspired me to step my fashion up a little bit. Um, and it's just a it's classic. I mean, what can I say about the song that hasn't been said already, man? Um, I remember hearing this the first time when it came out. It was in the Bronx, actually. Uh, funny enough, when the song came out, and I didn't care for it initially. You know, like I said, I was I was a hip hop fan by then, but it's not that I didn't like it, but I was so like into Fifty at that time because Fifty was killing it. Like that, this kind of I like. I remember hearing this and was like, oh, this sounds old, and I didn't really like like it like that. It's not until like the next year, I think, like a year later. Um, then I actually sat and listened to it And I remember listening to it with my boy Like for the first time Because you know you would hear like the song being played every now and then um, Like parts of it You know and I, I never heard the chorus or anything But just like the beat So I remember sitting with my boy In 2004 this is, I'm in Canada And uh, we're listening And he's like okay blah blah When he's like you know Oh shoot and oh uh, made you look We were like oh shit <laughs> You were slave to a page in my rhyme book <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> Fucking, let's just go back to the beginning. Like, it was just such a crazy rhyme. You know what I mean? For someone to say. So, anyway, classic ass record. You already know the deal. And honestly, I don't think Nas has dropped anything this dope since. You know, that song that he did, um, Salam Remy also produced it. Um, Talk of New York. That was real dope. He should have put that on an album. But aside from that, I don't think Nas has really dropped anything on this level since, unfortunately. Um, so all those Hit Boy releases, all them shits is trash. They're not gonna matter, man. When you talk Nas, you talk the greatest stuff Nas has ever put out. You're talking this kind of song. You're talking Illmatic, still Matic. You know, we know. Like we all know what it is, really. Okay. Anyway. What songs did y'all like this year? You know me. Um, I'm a bit picky with my taste. But also, I think I try to be fair. Um, so if there's songs that you love from this year that I didn't mention, feel free to mention them to me. But yeah, man. Not feeling this year at all. Um, the Drake album, obviously, you already know I didn't like that shit. Privileged Rappers. Eh, I mean, again, I never play that song if I'm out and I hear it. It's okay-ish, but it's not something that I'm ever going to really listen to, so it didn't make my list. You already know what I thought about the Kendrick album. You haven't gone back to it? Not, you know, will not go back to that shit. Um, I'm trying to think of other big releases. We haven't heard from Rocky, which is, uh, you know, typical. So hopefully in 2023, Rocky drops something and drops something dope, because shit in me was, meh, you know what I mean? So, anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, you know the deal. Peace.